Hi guys, my daughter's given me this light to have a look at. She said it wasn't working. Well, you can see it's on, but I have spotted a problem. If we look just here, as I move the wire, I think you might be able to see <laughs> Something is flashing in there. I suspect the insulation's gone. Right, try and keep this in focus. If we look right on the edge there, the wire's very dark. I think the two wires are actually shorting together there. It's probably got stressed at some time. And we're getting a little lighting display when they short together. So I think if I take the base off, we can probably shorten the wire and bypass where it's shorting out. Yeah, I should imagine that's been stretched, and that's what the problem is. With the cover off the base, we can see we've just got two connectors there and a bit of heat shrink. So, if I unscrew that, cut the heat shrink off, I should be able to push that through, shortening it by that amount which means the, the on-off switch will be much closer. But that will probably do the job. So I'll unscrew that, cut the heat shrink off, and we'll have a look. So, heat shrink off. Two connectors. So I should be able to push that through. And we can see straight away where that's bending there. That's where we got the problem. I hate these connectors. I think they're really rubbish. I don't know if I've got anything else to hand that I can use to replace it. Just in case you haven't seen inside those connectors, it's just a tube crimped onto the wires. So at least there's no solder involved. It's a, a crimp connector. And that's the bit I've chopped off. So we'll trim them, connect them onto there. I've got to think what I'm going to do there. Like I say, I don't like those connectors. I will just say this is better quality than I thought it was. It is double insulated. So we've got the outer clear coat and then the actual conductor itself is in another layer of insulation. So it is double insulated. I've decided to solder them. So that's what I've done. Soldered the two legs together. I'll cover them with heat shrink and then we'll put it back together. So that's a bit of heat shrink on each leg. And then I'll put a bigger bit over the top like it had originally. So heat shrink. Need to tuck it back in like it was before. Okay, fixed, but I've had to shorten your wire. Because it was right on the bend there, the wires had actually shorted out. I've just stripped these wires back so we can actually check. 
they weren't shorting out together, which is what I thought was happening. It's actually the conductors have broken. So it, they were jumping the gap. The sparks were jumping the gap. That's why that's flexible like that. Because it's not flexible wire. It's quite hard to bend. So that's right on the bend where it went into the back of the lamp. Those wires have given way. So it's where they bent backwards and forwards over the years, I expect. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.